Good morning, dear children. Uh, children, you are aware your summer holidays are going to begin from tomorrow. So, let me tell you more about it. Summer holiday is just the another name of having lots of fun. You will be exploring new places, you will be going for picnic, you will be playing for long hours. You will be doing new activities also. But you have to follow all the instruction from your parents. Do not disobey them. In this video, children, I will explain you how to do the holiday homework, where to do and how to write. So, first of all, you are having four main subjects, that is Hindi, English, Maths, EVS. So, you will choose thin notebook for doing the holiday homework. I am showing you the thin notebook. You can buy this type of notebook, very thin, to do all the holiday homework. For English, you will be keeping one separate notebook. Ek alag rakhenge aap. For Hindi, one separate. Maths, a separate block notebook. And for EBS, separate notebook. So, you will be buying uh, four separate thin notebook, very thin. If you have three in one notebook at home, the extra notebook in that you can do. Agar aapke paas koi three in one notebook hai, to aap uspe bhi kar sakte ho. As the school will reopen children, you will bring your holiday homework, all the four uh, notebooks in a separate, in a folder. Aap ye char notebook ko aap ap ek apne folder mein rakh lo hai. And you will hand over to your subject teacher on 28th of June. This is the date of the submission. Now before explaining you the holiday homework, I want to give general instruction to parents. Uh, parents, let the child write in his or her own handwriting. You can guide your child, but encourage him to write in his own uh, handwriting. All the work should be handwritten and done neatly and independently by the child. Remember, the originality of the work will be appreciated by the teachers. The holiday homework will be checked, assessed on the basis of neatness, creativity and originality of ideas. Try to submit it before 20th of June. Children, in this summer holiday homework, you will be finding many activities. So, uh, this is worksheet kind of holiday homework you can have a look but the child will write in the notebook do not take out the printout do not uh, give him in uh, to write like this let him write in the notebook so first of all english do one page writing every day in a separate notebook uh, children if you are having writing notebook at home that you already you have already maintained at home you are going to write english writing one page daily now for the second bullet you have to read a story book after reading the story book one character which you have liked the most in the story you are going to make finger puppet based on that character now here comes worksheet first of all you will pick up separate thin notebook for english four lines notebook and in that 
you can mention a question you will start writing point number 1 medicine 2 3 4 5 6 if the child is willing to write question make him or her write because in this way uh, the child will learn the spelling if the child is not willing to write the question do not force the child to write the question riya's mother is not well this is the girl her mother is not well she requested riya the mother requested riya to bring a few items from the market which shop should she visit to get the products there are list of items given below 1 2 3 4 5 6 here you have to mention to which shop she will go to buy these products medicine to chemist shop definitely second eraser and sharpener she will go to stationery so here you will write and you will learn the spelling third flowers write the correct answer four loaf of bread five fruits six milk now question number b after coming from the market riya wants to help her mother in household work because her mother is sick she is not able to do the work now riya the responsible girl she has clean her room and fill the water bottle children she has done these two works now what else you can suggest four ways to so that she can help her mother at home aur kya tarike ho sakte hain jo wo kar sakti hai apni maa ko help karne mein i know you all keep helping your mother during tough time so please suggest four different ways which you follow now question number c with the help of thumb or finger you can paint a tree write four lines on what you can do to save trees so on a piece on a piece of paper uh, where you are writing your english holiday homework in a thin separate notebook use fresh page to do this work there you will paint a tree using different colors after painting a tree with the help of finger or thumb impression you will write four lines on what you can do to save trees children after that you will pick up separate notebook to do hindi holiday homework so now i am explaining you what is in it apni avakash prah karya pustaka mein प्रतिदिन दस शब्द लिखे जो आपने थिन नोटबुक बनाई है उसमें आप रोज दस शब्द लिखेंगे प्रश्न एक है अमन काम झटपट कर टप भर कर रख अब यह कलश पकड़ बहस मत कर टम टम पर चढ़ कर अन चल कलश भर कर घर चल नटखट मत बन ढम ढम मत कर गर्दन मत छटक छत पर चलकर कसरत कर अब शरबत चक अचकन पहन बरगद पर मत चढ़ या कमल पकड़ बतक मत पकड़ वर्णों को जोड़कर ऊपर दिए गए वाक्यों को पढ़िए व इनमें से दो तीन और चार अक्षर के शब्द अलग करके लिखे so dear parents here you are not going to force the child to write the whole question if the child is willing to write allow him or her to write aap hindi ki notebook mein ye table banwa denge aur usme aap do akshar ke shabd bachche ko kahenge dhoondne ko jo bhi do akshar ke shabd ko dhoondta hai counting karke usko do akshar ke niche likh payenge aap aur teen akshar फिर कहेंगे वो तीन अक्षरों के ढूंढे 
फिर जब जैसे वो आइडेंटिफाई कर लेगा तीन अक्षर के शब्द वो उसके नीचे लिखेगा फिर आप बच्चे को कहेंगे चार अक्षर के शब्द को ढूंढे चार अक्षर के जितने भी शब्द हैं वो आप उस टेबल के नीचे लिखवा सकते हैं प्रश्न संख्या दो रिक्त स्थानों की पूर्ति कीजिए अब यहाँ पे आपको अपना नाम लिखना है फिर अपने पिताजी का नाम लिखना है फिर अपनी माताजी का नाम लिखना है आपके भाई बहन हैं एक या एक से ज्यादा तो आप दूसरा डैश खींच लेंगे वहां पे उनका नाम लिखेंगे प्रश्न तीन इंद्र धनुष का चित्र बनाकर रंग भरें व साथ ही उन सात रंगों का प्रयोग शब्द निर्माण में कीजिए इंद्र धनुष में सात रंग होते हैं वो हम सबको मालूम है इंद्र धनुष मतलब रेनबो का रंग बनाते वक्त उसका ऑर्डर ध्यान में रखें पहले लाल फिर नारंगी पीला हरा नीला जामुनी बैगनी वो आप बनाएंगे यहाँ पे फिर उसको बनाने के बाद उन रंगों का शब्द निर्माण करेंगे जैसे आपको पहला लाल दिया है लाल क्या होता है टमाटर तो आप लाल का लिखेंगे फिर नारंगी का लिखेंगे पीला हरा नीला इसी तरीके से जामुनी और बैगनी देन नाउ चिल्ड्रन हियर कम्स मैथ्स हॉलिडे होम वर्क यू आर गोइंग टू टेक आउट योर सेपरेट नोटबुक फॉर डूइंग दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन राइट नेम्स एंड ड्रॉ और पेस्ट पिक्चर ऑफ एनी फाइव थिंग्स दैट यू सी इन साइड योर हाउस चिल्ड्रन इफ यू आर रीडिंग न्यूज पेपर और यू आर गोइंग थ्रू विद एनी बुक यू हैव फाइंड फाउंड न्यू थिंग्स विच इज देयर इन साइड योर हाउस आप उन चीजों को देख रहे हैं जो आपके घर के अंदर है यू कैन राइट दो नेम्स ऑफ थिंग्स देन यू विल पेस्ट पिक्चर ऑफ इट आप घर पे कोई पांच चीज देखते हैं घर के अंदर तो उसके नाम लिखेंगे एंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ इट यू गोइंग टू ड्रॉ इधर यू विल ड्रॉ और पेस्ट द पिक्चर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग नाउ वेन यू गो आउटसाइड ऑफ योर हाउस You will observe five things. You will visualize it. उसको ध्यान से सोचेंगे Then you will name it. उसका नाम लिखेंगे After that you will draw and color it. If you are pasting, no need to color. Now here comes question number टू Write number counting वन to ट्वेंटी So you will draw table like this. You will start writing. From one to twenty in a forward manner. Kram sahi likhenge. मतलब पहले छोटा, then बड़ा in this way. Now here comes question number three. Uh, write and learn backward counting. Children, we have already done this in school. Starting from twenty, nineteen, uh, then eighteen. So this table is drawn here. You will write. Tens, starting from ones, tens. So, suppose you are writing twenty, so you will write in the place of uh, ones zero, and here you will write two. Similarly, for nineteen, you will write at ones nine and at tens one. In this way, you are going to do backward counting. मतलब पीछे से counting start करेंगे. Now this is the puzzle time. You will solve the puzzle by filling the number name. You have already done counting, and now here it's time to write number name. You have learned the spelling. Just see across means upper se lekar ke niche tak. Uh, sorry, across means in this manner, uh, like reading through lines. Just you have line parte ho. That is the meaning of across. Now, what is the meaning of down? Down means scrolling down, like coming from upward to downward or downward to upward. 
So across you will find on first four. So you will write the spelling one letter in each uh, row, in each box. F O U R. Here the spelling of four is completed and across, which means doing going from left to right. Similarly, you will find second number like this and you will write 7. Then here comes across 4. Here this is across. Write this one. 5. Here on 5, one number is given. So do this one accordingly. Now I have told you the meaning of down, looking downwards. Down me one hai. Then Two, three, now four. This is another question. Look at the picture and fill in the plans. Question number A. The dash is above the flower. What is above the flower? You will observe it. You will think about it. And then you will write the name here. B. The dash is under the flower. You can see an animal which is under the flower. You will think about its name and you will write here. Question number 6. Color the ice creams according to the given color code. You will draw this in your notebook. In after that, you are going to color it according to the given color code. So, one is brown. Now, children, you have to add this before coloring it. 0 plus 1. If you are getting the answer 1, then you will sh shade it. With the pencil uh, shade or uh, you can use move color to color it with brown. Then if you are getting answer 8. Aap kahi answer 8 aara hai in sab mein solve karne ke baan, Then you will color, use yellow color. And if you are getting answer 10, then use green color to color it. So these are two drawing based questions. This is not necessary. Question number 5 is not necessary to draw. But question number 6 is necessary to draw. Question number. Uh, this is the last question in, EV, uh, in maths. Question number 6. Now children you can use a new separate notebook uh, to do this EVS holiday homework. In EVS you will be finding two questions only. In the question number one, make an album of your family, including pet, and write two lines about each member. Give title, uh, my family and album. So you will be making album of your family in that you will include pet animal if you have at home in that album. And the title you are going to give, My Family Album. After making the album, you will uh, write two lines on each and every member. Your mother, your father, your pet, your brother, sister. On each and every member, you are going to write two lines. And about you also. You are also the part of your family. So write two lines on you. Question number two, make a cut of your any five body parts. You will make cut out of any five body parts using different geometrical shapes and write its name. You are already aware about the geometrical shapes, triangle, square, rectangle, cone. In this way, you will draw your five body parts. Now, after that, and after uh, drawing the body parts, you will 
write its name. In the next bullet in that, make your favorite cartoon character and show its five body parts. Children, I know you are very fond of cartoon characters. So, you will choose your favorite cartoon character. You will show five body parts. You will draw the favorite cartoon character. You will show, indicate with the help of arrow, five body parts. Where is ear? Where is mouth? Where is chest? Where is knee? Where is finger? We have already done this activity in the class. Hope this will be helpful for you to completing your holiday homework. Children, again, let's do the quick revision. How many subjects you have to do? English. Then here comes Hindi. Maths. And last is EBS. I will be uploading uh, the PDF in your class group. You will get the PDF from there. Remember, bring four thin notebooks. In a folder, up a folder may ye char patli notebook rak karke laenge and label your name on that notebook along with class and section. You have already been informed about your roll number, so write your roll number also. So, all the very best children have fun, eat well, and live well.